Hi and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about what you can do to prevent the needle from falling out of the machine while you're sewing. This is something that can be super frustrating and there can be a number of reasons for this. So the first reason we're going to look at is that the clamp screw is damaged. So you want to make sure that this little screw up here is not damaged and you don't want to set it too tight when you fasten it. You need to check the little holder for damages and cracks and if you find it to be cracked or be damaged in any way, you probably have to change it. Alright, so next we want to make sure that the needle mats the machine. Industrial models and home use models are different when it comes to the needle. For the home sewing machines, it will be flat, normally on the back side of the needle, but sometimes on the right or the left side, depending on which model you're using. So for the industrial machines, the needle will be round all around and if you're trying to insert an industrial needle into your home sewing machine, it'll just not work. It might fall out and be what's causing you this problem. So be sure to check with your manual whether your needles are supposed to be flat on the left, the right or on the back. And the next tip is to not tighten the screw with your finger. On old sewing machines you often have these big dials that you can get a really good grip on but for newer machines this is simply not the case. You need to use the screwdriver you got with the machine so if you fasten the screw with your fingers this is probably the reason why it keeps falling out. You just need to fasten it a little tighter. And if you're using a walking foot you should expect to fasten the little screw every five minutes because the walking foot can make the whole machine shake a little bit you want to make sure that the needle is not touching the walking foot when it's going up and down. So if you're using the wrong size walking foot, or maybe you're using a walking foot for another model or another brand, it would simply not work. So try the universal foot and see if the problem persists. It could also be the case that you're using the wrong size needle. Maybe you are using a thin needle for a leather project, or if you're sewing canvas with a really thin needle, it just won't work and it might knock the needle loose. For a leather project you will need a size 19 over 14 or maybe 100 over 16. If you're hearing a clicking sound, it might be that the metal plate under the needle is not mounted correctly or maybe it has become loose. You need to turn the hand wheel towards you to test when the needle is going up and down that it doesn't touch anything down there. It shouldn't touch anything and of course it shouldn't make this clicking sound. If the clicking sound continues to be there, you should probably just clean your machine. The last tip is to make sure that you push the needle all the way up when you fasten it. When you put the needle up and you start working with the screw, as soon as you let go of the needle, it might drop just a little bit. So you need to make sure that the needle stays at the top position while you're fastening it. All right, so if none of these tips fixed your problem, you should probably take your machine to the shop. You shouldn't keep sewing on a machine that keeps losing the needle because if the needles get down into the machinery and down into the around the bobbin area and so on it can it can splinter and it can destroy your machine and cause much bigger trouble i hope you liked the video we wrote a pretty in-depth article on this issue so if you didn't find the solution here we might have a few more tips for you over this article i'll put the link down here and you can also find it in the description be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and see you next time.